today where I have found a few small nuggets in the past. This area is covered in little gullies and flats and hills. So far I've only spent a short time in this area, only sampling a few gullies around. So I know there's gold here, it's been worked by the old timers as well as modern day machines. And the metal detector has found gold here as well. I'm optimistic, times are desperate. Let's go and find some gold. Sounds like we've got a first signal. It sounds like a decent one and it's in a gully in which I found gold before. But I haven't detected this far upstream yet. I found a few nuggets further down, only small ones. Then I went up a side gully and came back down a different one. So I haven't actually detected here, which is good. I saved it. It was only shallow. Oh, it's a nail. Just a piece of rubbish. There will be plenty of more of those around. We're in the middle of summer here in Western Australia. I've only dug one target, <laughs> walked about, I don't know, let it be 200 meters and I'm exhausted already. on the flats here but unfortunately nothing in those gullies at the bottom so I had to leave quickly again it's just too hot down there I can't breathe it's that hot it's still in the hole that's a good sign could be a nugget. We got it out. That is our first little nugget. Could be 0.2 of a gram, but anyway. It's got the right color. First nugget of the day, really good. I'm gonna clean my glasses. I've got sweat on it. Hopefully we'll find a few more of those. 0.2 of a gram, I'm assuming. So it's a good start. So far we've got one nail and one nugget. <laughs> the leaves that came of these uh, burnt trees here and are now blocking a few gullies. Really handy to have double speakers close to your ears. It's windy. If I only had my wireless unit hanging somewhere else, I probably wouldn't have heard this one. I think it's lead. I'll give it a scratch on my pig. Yeah, probably just a shotgun pellet, but definitely lead. This is where I just filled in the hole and now I'm getting a signal here that's not even two meters away from the shotgun pellet that I just dug out. Oh, <laughs> I was just gonna put my I'll attack this one here first, the one that I found originally and then we're slowly gonna work our way up and I know there is another target to dig just there. So we've got two, hopefully one of them at least is a piece of gold. Sounds a bit rubbishy. 
shotgun pellet. They sound good on the detector, but it's just lead. I'll dig out the other one. I think that's too shallow to be gold, but you never know. I'm gonna dig them all for now and see how much rubbish I get. Oh, it's another shotgun pellet. Third piece of lead now. <sighs> That's how it goes sometimes. I'll persist, at least it's nice and shady here at the moment. I'm gonna dig a few more holes before I head downstream. <coughs> Sounds like there's a target somewhere here in the shale. So it could just be rubbish that's trapped up in there. Just rubbish. I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but it's definitely rubbish. of rubbish for one piece of gold here. It's gold. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a bigger one. <laughs> nice bit. Nice and water-worn. Chunky. Oh. That is a nice piece. That would be about a gram, I think. Maybe a gram and a half. Hundred dollar nugget. I'm not gonna say no to that. Oh, what a nice piece. And oh, I haven't ignored any targets in here. I dug them all. The majority of them were shotgun pellets, wire, and that other funny piece I couldn't identify. And of course that one little subgrammer further upstream. And now this one here. But that is really a nice water-worn piece, which is surprising because I'm almost up in the headwaters here. But the gold probably came from further up in the back and worked its way down here slowly. That's why it's so nice and water-worn. It has traveled. Awesome piece. I'm very happy with it. I'm very, very happy with the size of it too. And it wasn't even all that deep. Only shallow here on this bit of a flat in the gully. And I've got a fair way to go until I hit the main downstream. This is very interesting. I just filled in the hole and now I'm slowly detecting around, checking every spot. And I've got a signal right next to the hole that I just filled in for the one grammar. That could be another nugget. Fingers crossed. the other one that I just dug out. Nice! Same thing, this is water worn as well. Unfortunately not quite as big as the other one, but another 0.2 of a gram. So that's three nuggets in total already. They are summing up now and I'm definitely gonna check with the detector now. I'm just looking carefully around this area where the two nuggets just came from and now I'm getting another signal. Right where I put the tripod. I put you guys on the gold again. Lucky I moved you and now I can dig it out. Better not be rubbish. And that's where the other two just came from. Oh, is it enough? 
another nugget. Yes, it certainly is another nugget. Nice. That would be about 0.3 of a gram. Another nice water one piece here. Two nuggets from there, one just here. And I forgot all this way to work yet. How awesome, that is very good going. I'm gonna head back up to my shady tree back there and have a quick drink. I need a bit of a break. Hopefully there's gonna be a couple more around. Wouldn't that be nice? I've been staying in town in a room for a little while. Summer is approaching, we're getting over 40 degrees out here every day and we did have some storms and some severe ones as well that uh, yeah, caused quite a bit of damage in town. I'm staying on a property with other people. Three cars were broken into last week and one vehicle was stolen. We were able to recover the car the next day. They broke into my car, smashed the window, took a few items. I lost a few things, a few things came back to me. Of course the cash is gone, my credit cards are gone. But at least I can go detecting. I've got all my stuff back, so that's a big bonus. And I still have my car. It's just not the right season to be up here anymore. It's just too hot and I'm not set up. I, I need to have a proper setup so I can still do my editing, but that's not possible out in the paddock in these temperatures because my batteries don't charge, the computer doesn't charge, it overheats, my detector batteries don't charge and basically the fridge wasn't going either. I'll have to go further down south where it's a little bit cooler. I was originally planning on heading east and I made it pretty much to the border of WA, of Western Australia but I've decided to turn back around. That doesn't mean that I'm not coming back. I'll definitely back up here. I've got so many waypoints here now and next time I come up, I'm, I can be pretty much certain that I can just stop and uh, pick up gold straight away because of all these areas. But the good news is I've got another signal, only, oh, not even a meter next to the other hole where we got the other subgrammar out of earlier. So the two nuggets were just there, this was the other subgrammar there, and now I'm getting a signal over here, so there could be another gold nugget. I'm hoping for one. Oh, it's a noisy one. Hopefully gold. Oh, it is a nugget. That is another nugget. Another nice water-worn piece. Oh, a bit prickly on this side. Must have been sitting on an angle here. But nice, that's another, I don't know, maybe 0.2 of a gram could be close to 0.4 as well. And another one right in this spot here. So from here to back there it's nine meters. I picked up the first one up there and now they're going down in the line. That's five nuggets now within nine meters. That's enough for me to say I'm gonna have a close look around now. I'm gonna climb up the banks here as well and yeah scan the whole area here properly. I don't have much time left at seeding up but at least I'm on the gold, finally. Awesome area. Now it's a definite, there's another signal in there. Hopefully another nugget. Only very faint at the beginning. Nice water-worn piece, probably 0.4 of a gram. It really looks like my luck has finally turned around. It's been a bit rough, but it might be going back up. Finally, I'm hoping so. And it certainly looks like it. That's nugget number six. 
within nine meters. I had a look on my GPS. There's nine meters in between the holes and I found this one here just by detecting up higher on the bank. Plenty of shallow ground around. And then definitely I've still got all this way downstream. And the next gully over and then the next gully over and it goes on. Just because I don't clean out my areas 100% every time I go there means that I can always return to those areas with a good chance of finding more gold. I've got all these waypoints now. I'm a traveling prospector. I'll definitely be back up in Halts Creek and then of course I'll start detecting straight away nearby those waypoints and after every wet season it's worthwhile to return to those spots anyway especially if they had a lot of rain in those areas. But for the moment I'm just happy with what I'm picking up now which is nice water-worn nuggets. Beautiful. That's a bit of a screamer. That's why I didn't show you the dig. I'm right on the track here and I could see it shining in here. Here, there's a nugget. I'm glad I ended up digging it because I wasn't too sure. It sounded like rubbish. Plus we're right on the track here. So I really didn't think it was going to be a nugget. Any target here could be gold. I don't want to get too excited, but this signal is only a meter just next to the hole that I just filled in. It's rubbish. Well, we got a lucky nugget and now a piece of rubbish. Could be a lot worse. I'm really not complaining about the gold rubbish ratio in this area here. I'm just over halfway through my water and I've got about 500 meters to walk back to where I've got more water stashed. I'll persist for a bit longer out here. It's too good to give up now with uh, all those nuggets. I'm not even sure how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. There are some nice looking gold there already and hopefully a few grams on the scales later on. This signal here that I've got is a little bit further downstream of where I got the nugget. It sounds very similar too. It's a bit wobbly, so I'm hoping that it could be another one. But I have picked up rubbish here as well, so let's see what it is. like it's gonna be a bigger nugget. Oh yeah, nugget. <laughs> Hopefully. Bigger target anyway. Oh, it is gold. That is cool. That is unreal. That is another nugget here. That is another nice bit. That'll go half a gram as well. Could be a little bit less. It's flat and looks probably a bit bigger than what it is. So this one here would be nugget number eight from a hot summer day in the Kimberley. I'm very happy about these. It's very hard going here. This hole is what I've just dug. The detector is starting to get a little bit noisy already. Oh, it's lunchtime anyway, so I'm not sure if there's a signal there or if I'm just digging noisy ground. Hard to tell, the detector is noisy. Storms are building up in the background here. I can't really tell. I'll have to widen out the hole a little bit more and uh, then I'll swing the detector again to decide what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go with no. I don't think there's anything in there. It's just getting a little bit too hot now. Would be 45 degrees today easily. So that'll be my time to head back slowly I still got a liter of water in my backpack at least, but I'll drink it on the way down. Hopefully I don't have to dig any more massive craters like this one, because it does take it out of you. We're going to have a very scenic way in today. 
I'm at the China Wall, the iconic China Wall made out of quartz. That's one part there and I can see more in between those rocks there. The China Wall is several kilometers long and it comes out of the ground up to six meters in places. A really nice spot. They've got these massive zebra rocks here. I'd love to know where they got these from. If you've got any idea where I can find zebra rocks in nature, please drop a comment below. Same with those ones here. Two more big zebra rocks. But this looks like a beautiful spot for my way in. Nice and shady under the tree here. Although it was another very hot detecting day, I persisted and my persistence was rewarded with eight nuggets. That's good going when it's that hot and I'm still digging rubbish in between and yeah, just digging one hole takes out so much energy and digging several holes in a day is just killer in the heat. But I have plenty of breaks, I drink plenty of water and that's how I can do the hours out there. Those eight nuggets are very pretty. They are all quite water-worn and some of them are actually quite chunky and have a little bit more weight to them, I hope. But we're gonna find out now what these nuggets weigh. I'll put them on the scales, starting with the smallest one. Oh, 0.28 for the smallest one. That is not too bad. Over a gram now. 1.6 oh, Almost three and I've got one nugget left the biggest one 4.7 grams That is very good. What an awesome day in the heat and I really didn't expect to pick up that many nuggets but I was just lucky that the first one in that gully was a gold nugget and not rubbish. If the first five would have been rubbish, I'm not sure if I would have persisted and had a closer look further downstream. That was just lucky. The first one was gold and I ended up with those eight nuggets for 4.7 grams. Awesome. It's gonna be difficult for me to film and edit while I'm on the road again. So I've got one more video from Halls Creek next week before I see you guys from a new location. Thanks again for watching and stay safe out there.